They said it was impossible, that no car could run forever without charging or fuel. But buried deep inside a U.S. patent database, something shocking has surfaced. Documents describing a self-sustaining energy conversion system eerily similar to Maxwell Chikumbutso's design. And here's the twist. The patent isn't filed under his name. What's going on here? Has Maxwell's self-powered EV technology been quietly absorbed into U.S. hands? Or is this proof that someone, somewhere, is trying to control the future of infinite energy before the world wakes up? The Hidden Patent Trail In early 2025, independent tech researchers began cross-referencing energy conversion patents filed in the United States over the past decade. Among the thousands of documents, they stumbled upon something chilling a dynamic electromagnetic energy recovery system designed to generate continuous power from electromagnetic resonance without external charging. The blueprint? Almost identical to what Maxwell demonstrated publicly years ago in Zimbabwe. The patent diagram showed a compact energy converter, rotating magnetic chambers, and high-frequency oscillation circuits, all parts Maxwell once revealed in his prototypes. Except this time... The patent's applicant was listed as a U.S.-based company known for military contracts in energy research, the Whisper Network. Soon after this discovery, online forums lit up. Energy researchers, EV enthusiasts, and tech insiders started connecting dots, sharing snippets of older footage, Maxwell's interviews, and images of his green tech car systems. Several noted that his 2015 prototype, the self-powered electric car, used a system identical in behavior to what the U.S. patent described. Then, a name emerged, a retired Tesla engineer who reportedly filed consulting patents in 2019 for closed-loop electromagnetic propulsion. Was this a coincidence? Or had Maxwell's technology been studied, replicated, and rebranded under new ownership? The Vanishing Files. Just days after these claims went viral, several online repositories holding the original patent data mysteriously went offline. Researchers reported 404 errors, missing diagrams and scrub metadata. Even more suspicious, a few of Maxwell's old YouTube demonstrations suddenly vanished too. No copyright strike, no explanation, just gone. At this point, tech journalists began investigating the timing, and what they found added fuel to the fire. In late 2024, a private meeting between African engineers and a U.S. renewable energy delegation took place in California under the banner of Global EV Collaboration. Insiders claim Maxwell's technology was quietly demonstrated there and that the patents may have shifted ownership soon after. Elon Musk's cryptic tweet. Then came the strangest clue of all. A short, cryptic tweet from Elon Musk himself that simply read, Some tech deserves to be shared but not stolen. No context. No hashtags. But within minutes, Twitter exploded with speculation. Was Elon subtly referencing Maxwell's situation? Had he seen the patent trail himself? Or was this all part of a much larger game of technological chess between African innovation and American influence? Inside the conversion blueprint, among the leaked pages, one section stood out. The self-power conversion method. It described a process where an ordinary electric vehicle could be converted into a self-charging one by integrating a modular electromagnetic energy loop. This system didn't rely on solar, wind, or batteries, but rather a resonant feedback cycle between a converter and an onboard capacitor array. Experts say this could, in theory, power a car indefinitely, the holy grail of clean energy. But here's the catch. While the document mirrored Maxwell's principles, the U.S. patent framed it as an adaptation of an existing experimental concept. In other words, a sanitized version of someone else's genius. The Global Energy Chessboard As the world's attention slowly turned toward Africa's growing tech frontier, whispers of this energy conversion method began to reach the ears of global corporations. Several U.S. and European energy firms suddenly filed for parallel technology patents, each claimant had independently developed new systems capable of self-regeneration of power. But the dates didn't lie. Every single one of those patents came after Maxwell's public demonstrations in Harare and Johannesburg. Coincidence? Hardly. At the same time, 
Sources inside Maxwell's own network revealed that multiple foreign representatives had approached him years earlier, offering millions for exclusive rights to his inventions. He refused every one of them. And that's when insiders say the corporate shadow war began. The disappearing engineer. Around mid-2024, a Zimbabwean engineer who had worked briefly with Maxwell's green tech team, known only as Tanashi M, suddenly vanished. Before he disappeared, he had been developing something called Project Zera, a next-gen version of Maxwell's converter that could fit into any existing EV as a compact module. Weeks before he went silent, he sent an encrypted email to a friend in South Africa containing a chilling line. They already have it. The Americans got it first. Tell Maxwell not to sign anything. Within days, his online presence was completely wiped. Every social account, project file, and trace of communication erased. To this day, no one knows where Tanashi went. But in 2025, the same module design he'd been working on appeared, slightly modified, in a new U.S. patent under a clean energy startup backed by a former Tesla executive. The meeting that never happened. Documents leaked from an African Innovation Summit showed a scheduled private roundtable between Elon Musk, representatives from Green Tech Holdings, and delegates from the African Energy Council. The topic? Exploring self-sustaining electric systems for global markets. But according to sources on the ground, that meeting was abruptly canceled just hours before it was set to begin. Elon's jet landed in South Africa. He stayed for less than 24 hours. No one knows who he spoke to or what was discussed. Some say he saw the prototypes firsthand. Others claim he was warned that the tech was too disruptive and the world wasn't ready. Whatever happened that day, everything went silent afterward. Maxwell stopped giving interviews. Green tech is online activity froze. And for a while, the world simply forgot to come back. But then, early 2025, a mysterious video began circulating online. It showed a familiar figure standing beside a sleek, silver EV, the Green Tech SEVX, fully autonomous, fully self-powered, and labeled MK2 Conversion Series. The voice in the video? Maxwell's. They said it was impossible. But it's already here. The video was taken down within hours, but not before it was mirrored, copied, and shared across thousands of devices worldwide. Tech experts analyzed the footage and confirmed it wasn't CGI. The energy readings were real. The unthinkable deal. As pressure mounted, the U.S. Patent Office quietly added a new category, Advanced Regenerated Power Systems. And under it appeared a series of linked patents, one of them cross-referenced with Zimbabwean inventors' work history. Behind the scenes, insiders whispered of a possible collaboration, not competition. A secret agreement between Maxwell's team and select American labs to mass-produce the technology under joint licensing. But then Elon Musk's SpaceX subsidiary filed a confidential document labeled Provisional Test Integration, AFR Energy Loop. Could be that Maxwell's technology is being tested within SpaceX's upcoming projects, or perhaps in Tesla's experimental vehicles. No one knows. But one thing is clear. The self-power conversion method is real, and it's already changing the rules of the game. The energy cold war begins. By mid-2025, the world's largest economies were no longer competing over oil. They were competing over energy independence. Not solar, not hydrogen, but the infinite loop systems that Maxwell had pioneered. Leaked trade documents revealed that the United States... China and Germany were each working on classified energy programs eerily similar to Maxwell's design. In private, intelligence analysts began referring to this global standoff as the Energy Cold War. Africa, once seen as a technology follower, had suddenly become the most valuable energy frontier on the planet. And at the heart of it all stood a silent genius who refused to sell his vision. Maxwell's Green Tech Campus once buzzed with engineers and open experiments, was now surrounded by restricted zones, biometric gates, and 24-hour arm patrols. Satellite images showed the construction of what looked like a new underground facility, complete with a high-voltage shield dome, something never seen before in Africa's tech landscape. Whatever was happening down there was not just a car project anymore. The hidden prototype, Project Renaissance, a whistleblower within green tech leaked a code name, Project Renaissance. 
This was no longer about converting existing vehicles. It was about reinventing the entire energy ecosystem. Renaissance wasn't just a car. It was a mobile energy node capable of generating and transmitting wireless power across several kilometers. Imagine a convoy of vehicles, each car generating power, charging homes, schools, or even factories while driving through remote areas. That was the dream. And according to internal reports, it was already functional. When engineers from the African Union Science Division tested it, they documented something astonishing. Continuous output over 1,200 hours. No drop in efficiency. But before those reports would be published, they were classified under a Continental Security Directive. Who issued that directive? No one knows. But insiders believe it came under pressure from foreign embassies. The meeting in Dubai, weeks later, private footage surfaced, showing a meeting at the World Future Energy Summit in Dubai. Seated in a restricted VIP area were representatives from Tesla Energy, Shell Renewables, and the African Technology Council. At the center of the table, a single prototype device glowing faintly blue, the same color signature seen in Maxwell's older self-power cars. An anonymous attendee later described it. The Western companies didn't come to negotiate. They came to contain. They weren't trying to buy Maxwell out this time. They wanted a licensing lock, a legal mechanism to control when and how the technology could be used, ensuring it would never fully replace the existing energy grid. Africa's delegation refused. The room fell silent. And according to reports, Elon Musk himself walked out before the meeting ended, saying only one thing as he left. If they can do what I think they can, the entire world economy is about to reboot. The dawn of the infinite age. The world had reached a breaking point. Governments, billionaires, and military agencies had all tried and failed to contain the African-born miracle that defied physics itself. Despite secret negotiations, embargoes, and aggressive patent wars, Maxwell Chikambutso's invention could no longer be stopped. Within months, open-source blueprints of a self-powered energy system began circulating across encrypted African forums, files that engineers later confirmed were legitimate working models of Maxwell's design. Someone inside Green Tech had leaked it. And just like that, what was once a mystery guarded by a few became the property of millions. Across villages in Zimbabwe, Kenya, and Nigeria, lights flickered to life in communities that had never known 24-hour electricity. Old cars were converted into self-powered EVs using scavenged parts and open-source circuits. Children studied under street lamps powered not by fuel, but by pure innovation born on African soil. Meanwhile, global markets panicked. Oil prices crashed to record lows. Entire sectors of the global energy industry collapsed overnight. But something beautiful emerged from the chaos. Freedom. No more gas stations. No more blackouts. No more dependence. Just limitless, clean, continuous energy. In a rare leaked video dated September 3rd, 2026, a drone captured footage deep in the Zambezi Valley. There, among the hills and solar canopies, stood Maxwell Chikambutso himself, overlooking rows of prototype vehicles, each one silently humming with that faint blue energy glow. He turned to the camera and said, They tried to buy it. They tried to bury it. But you can't own the sun, and you can't patent freedom. That clip went viral overnight amassing hundreds of millions of views in days. It wasn't a protest. It wasn't a product launch. It was a declaration of independence from every power system humanity had ever known. By the end of that year, Africa became the first continent to achieve total clean energy independence. Western nations, once skeptical, began licensing the very same technology they had dismissed. Tesla announced a collaboration with Green Tech Labs under the project named Unity, and in a symbolic gesture, Elon Musk invited Maxwell to a joint keynote at the Global Future Energy Summit. The two innovators finally shaking hands beneath a banner that read, Power for All.